Fox News alert. Polls just closed in Illinois and Kansas. We're watching results roll in from Ohio, where there's a big Senate primary race. Trump backed Bernie Bereno going up against state Senator Matt Dolan. And last hour, polls closed in Florida. Former President Donald Trump voted in Palm Beach this afternoon alongside former First Lady Melania Trump. The couple strolling outside to address a gaggle of reporters who enjoyed having a president who actually answers questions. They have to close the borders. Our country is dying. Our country is being overridden. This is an invasion. How will you conduct a mass deportation? Uh, that'll be very evident. It'll go very quickly. I will tell you that. It'll go the deportation. We're going to get the criminals out of our country right away. Mrs. Trump, are you going to return to the campaign trail with your husband? Stay tuned. Who did you vote for? Are you trying to I voted for Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Did somebody just say, who'd you vote for? Yeah, I voted for Donald Trump. Thank you. Keep watching Fox's election results come in all night. So in the 1960s, Americans got a look behind the curtain of Washington. Operation Mockingbird, the CIA's plan to bait journalists with hoaxes disguised as scoops, got exposed. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We do have people who submit pieces to other to American journals. Langley was laundering narratives to the press and into the public's veins. The most trusted names in news were working wittingly or unwittingly as deep state conduits of disinformation. At least 22 American news organizations, from the New York Times to Life magazine to CBS, had journalists on the CIA payroll. At CBS, uh, we uh, had been contacted by the CIA. As a matter of fact, by the time I became the head of the whole news and public affairs operation in 1954, ships had been established, and I was told about them and asked if I'd carry on with them. And the cover-up continues, although the lies are more blatant now. There is no deep state. There's no deep state. There's no great spy network who takes down presidents here. There is no deep state, and we need to stop talking about it. The deep state doesn't exist. Okay, the spoiler alert, there is no deep state. Mm, but today, my staff opened the New York Times and saw this. It turns out the deep state is actually kind of awesome. Not only does the deep state exist, but the deep state is filled with people just like you and me. To prove it, the New York Times took a road trip. First stop, they visited a Star Trek lover. First stop, Huntsville, Alabama. Sure looks like some nefarious government activity happens around here. Meet Scott Bellamy. I am a mission manager in the Planetary Missions Program Office. He drives a Nissan Titan 4x4. He's loved Star Trek since he was a kid. Of course I have a favorite character. It's either Captain Kirk or Mr. Spock. And he may have quite literally saved the planet from annihilation. They knocked an asteroid off its course, proving something that had previously only been done in movies. Saving the world from an Armageddon scenario. And then the New York Times visited a water administrator. Next, we traveled deep into the swamp itself, Washington, D.C. I am the assistant administrator for water at the Environmental Protection Agency. She loves Pilates, making salads. Oh, and she led an operation to make our drinking water lead free in 10 years. That's the dream. You want to replace your own water pipes? You got the skills to launch an asteroid deflecting spacecraft? No. That's why your tax dollars pay experts like Radhika and Scott. Yep, the deep state is hard at work, making America great. Just because we don't know about it doesn't make it suspicious. Oh, and then there's the wage official at the Department of Labor. I am the acting director of enforcement for the wage and hour division for the Midwest uh, Regional Office for the U.S. Department of Labor. I had to take a breath, yes. She still eats Lucky Charms for breakfast, trains for marathons, and loves Latin dancing. Cumbia, bachata, cha-cha-cha, you name it, I did it. And she uses your tax dollars to get kids out of working in dangerous slaughterhouses. So the Times says when we hear deep state, Instead of recoiling, we should rally around the everyday heroes who wake up ready to dedicate their careers and their lives to serving us. The New York Times is telling you the deep state 
isn't an intelligence cabal interfering in elections. It's merely civil servants who enjoy dancing, lucky charms, and Star Trek, just like you. The deep state kills asteroids and does Pilates. They don't illegally sabotage politicians they can't control. They're too busy making salads and keeping your water clean. As a matter of fact, thank you, deep state. Funny how the New York Times didn't take a road trip to Langley or the Bureau or the Pentagon or the Justice Department. Russia collusion, the laptop, the letter, the lab leak were probably cooked up at NASA. But this man's not a NASA official. He's a former CIA officer declaring America's greatest threat is Donald Trump. The greatest threat to the United States right now is, is from within. Um, you, know, it, you know, Donald Trump has broken all norms. You can't say those things, or in the past you could not, without being condemned you know, across the political spectrum, including from your own party. So the fact that this is now the norm is, is deeply troubling. And, and look, you know, we're going into uncharted territory here. So you know, what happens if there is, a, again, a contested election? So what do we know about this guy? This CIA official was the chief recruiter to get 50 other spooks to sign onto that letter claiming Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation. He's the guy. And now he's back for the bloodbath hoax and publicly announcing Trump, not Russia, not China, not terrorism, is America's top threat. The deep state's telegraphing what they're going to do. Run a PR campaign saying we should rally around the deep state because they're good old American public servants who eat cereal and exercise, just like you, and on the same day send a guy behind the CIA letter to put a big fat target on Trump's back? Because when you're the CIA and you say something's a threat, what do you think the CIA is trained to do about threats? Just getting started. Not only is Trump a security threat, he's an unstable psychopath, they say. He uses this apocalyptic language, this um, violent language consistently, almost on any topic. And the reason fundamentally is the true context. And the true context is his state of mind, his mental, his mental abilities and his, his personality disorders. He is a narcissistic psychopath. I mean, if you look at the definitions in the DSM-5, the D Diagnostic and Statistical Man Manual for uh, Mental Disorders, he is clearly a sociopath. Okay, so Biden's cognitive abilities are fine, but Trump's a sociopath. The deep state uses these propaganda techniques on our most dangerous enemies, like ISIS, like North Korean dictators, like the Russians. These are the same forces that are targeting the Republican nominee for president, a former president, because of his populist agenda and his inability to be manipulated. And so if someone's a domestic threat and they're an unpredictable sociopath, how do you bring in a counterintelligence operation to neutralize them? You link them to foreign powers, like the Russia hoax, and you use money to do it. Now, Trump has got to put up a half a billion dollars cash bond just to appeal his excessive fine in New York so Letitia James doesn't seize his properties. The real problem that we as Americans need to be watching is where the money, if at all, comes from. Is it going to come from Qatar? Is it going to come from Saudi Arabia? Could it come through some back channel um, oligarch from Russia? If, in fact, that happens, just think about the danger that Donald Trump is putting America and our national security at risk. He will now be indebted to a foreign entity. And as a potential president of the United States, imagine if, God forbid, a million times that he wins. Imagine the indebtedness that he will have to a foreign entity over the benefit and the needs of America. So now they've established a national security threat, foreign blackmail and mental instability. And to make the Trump presidency even more dangerous, they warn of an impending American genocide if he isn't stopped. He's going to come after immigrants. He's going to come after people of color. He was locking babies in cages as a matter of formal policy. He banned Muslim folks in this country as his first act as president. He will do that and he will do even more. This is a man who likes words like poison, like American carnage, like bloodbath. Those are not metaphors. That is the the intellectual the and ideological universe in which he lives, one of violence, one of 
decay, uh, one of death, and that is what he hopes to produce. We're witnessing the beginning of another coup, a dark and dangerous chapter in America's here. They're combining the dictator on day one hoax with the bloodbath hoax to justify stopping Trump by any means necessary. The deep state's preparing for war. Limbaugh warned us. What is going on in the deep state, the embedded bureaucracy where the Obama shadow government is doing everything it can to overthrow the Trump presidency. And make no mistake, that is what's happening. The media is now doing the bidding of the Obama shadow government. All these people leaking made up things, non-factual things that allow the media to continue to run stories that are nothing but speculation, that fall under the rubric of the seriousness of the charge. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.